area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Oh, you thought you was going to do this without me? No, 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 no. No me is known without me. Like, that's no me. I tried it. I tried it. I tried it. What's good, Josh? Your boy, Showtime. That's Peter. Nobody that knows bodies. Pow! Woo! Already starting the night off the right way. First off, Noma 11. Second of all, I appreciate everything. That y'all have, you know what I'm saying, all the love and the appreciation. And make sure you, this is all salutes to the subscribers, the people that are in that notification gang. I still remain that ambassador. Back to point one, Noma 11. How we starting this night off, huh? How we starting this night off with Mike P versus Luke Castro? Hmm? 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 I rolled it. I rolled it. I'm going to sit it down. I'm going to roll it. Because, you know, it's the first night. Everybody got to get the jettas off. You know what I'm saying? You got to... Get them shakes out of there, you know what I'm saying? Y'all had, had me waiting for a minute. Y'all had me waiting for a good hour for the pre-show. Y'all said it was supposed to start at 3 o'clock. I thought it was supposed to be 3 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time. Couldn't find out. It's now 6 o'clock on my side. We about to be here all night long. But like Luck said, we got all night. We got all night. Mike P versus Lou Castro. This battle is rollable. I don't know if I can smoke it just yet. I want to enjoy it just a little bit. I feel like the second round could be the most debatable. And I feel like the third round is a preference. But that first round, no. That first round, Mike, you got that one. Yep, Mike, Mike, Mike clearly had that first round. It, it was levels on that first round, bro. We want to see you win the pot. But we want to see you win the battle. I think that would be... That, that's very, that's very, very fire to me. I'm sorry, that line was fire. I think Mike P is showing the level of the rapping ability and on top of that also having some substance on top of Lou's. Uh, uh, his structure is, a, is very erratic. The way that he writes, it's just like he got a bunch of the bars and he's piecing them together to see if they can mesh well. I just feel like... Lou's issue and every time that we see Lou battling and when he battles somebody that is of a of a higher tier, like same thing with DNA, it's you see the levels of the writing skill and you get to see actually how somebody who just has performance versus somebody who has performance and the bars are inside of there with the flow pattern. You can tell in this battle very much so. So Lou just know what he gotta work on. Cause all that that wild stro I like all that. You you making me mad right now. I I'm I be loving that shit. I don't care at any point of the shut the fuck up right now. You know what I'm saying? I like all of that, Lou. Keep all of that. But we need to find that rapping, that rapping, rapping level that that needs that needs to raise the that needs to raise the bar for me that's just me personally that's just my it's just my thoughts you know what i'm saying that's just me though mike p mike p needs bigger plates and he been getting he been getting people that's been trying to test his 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 pin game test his performance and and everything i just feel as though that mike p does he needs somebody of, of a top tier higher tier status especially after a battle like this because Mike P is just showing you that he is levels above certain people. Now, do I clearly give this battle to Mike P? First round, clearly. Third round, to me, I have the personal preference for Mike P. Um, Lou Castro, I think he, uh, the second round, he went off. To me, he was falling off in the beginning, but he heated up at the end of that second round. And he was snapping, all right? I just, I just, I like, I like Lou's Bars. It's just I want that structure to be a lot better. That that's just me being a fan watching as this is progressing. But so far I'm already enjoying myself. This is how we this is how we start the night off, and I'm cool with that. You feel me? Vada, Vada, my brethren. I'm here all night. I'm here. If you need me, you know where I'll be, and that's gonna be right here in this seat. Y'all niggas got me messed up. It's no. Man. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification. Gang, gang, gang. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. You had Mike P 
versus Lou Castro. I'm wild strong. Salute to the Bronx and all that and all of that. Coming into this battle, they had did a lot of promotion amongst each other. They were talking, they talk. You know, Mike P has been around for quite some time, you know what I'm saying, getting his game together and moving up along the ladder of battle rap. And now you got Lou Castro, you know what I'm saying, wild strong. He promotes himself well. He's got music out, he's doing his thing, or et cetera, et cetera. And they come into this battle and a lot of folks was looking like, what is Lou Castro going to do against a Mike P? Like, what is he going to do? Is he going to bring charisma? Is he going to bring flow? Is he going to bring appeal? Like, what is the way that he's going to approach this battle? And I will say this. First round, I got Mike P. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mike P, I felt his first round was dope. Uh, Lou Castro had lines like, unfollowed everyone. Uh, Twitter don't, he said, uh, Twitter don't like that shit. Uh, he said he had an almanac line. He had a, uh, I'll pull a piece out slow like this is Jenga. Uh, did you steal this? I got it from a nigga that looked like real sick. His first round was cool, but I had Lou Castro. You know what I'm saying? Bars, bars was heavy, but Mike P came out his first round and Mike P was wigging. Mike P had, uh, he had the line about, uh, he came out the castor oil, the syntax, uh, and then, you know, he had the line about uh, made it off big leagues and one because they both had and one lines in their round. So it's heating up. It's heating up. You know what I'm saying? Mike continues with bars in his first round. Uh, the moral of the story is there wasn't one. They don't want you. Uh, he said they don't want you to whip the pot. They want you to win your battles. First round, I had Mike P winning the first. Second round, Jay Knight when comes out, he steps his, he starts to step his game up. You know what I'm saying? I guess. Like, you could feel sometimes when you're under pressure after the first round, you know what I'm saying? Like, like for real, for real, I, I tweeted Lou Castro after his first, he needed a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? He needed more C4 because, like, Mike was bombing on him in the first round. Second round, he comes out, uh, how I see police from far, I got ways for that. I walked in with an ARP, do you believe? You know, that's been working. Uh, still, in his, still in his feelings, get over them ride arounds. You, you get a couple in the head, Nikki Parker. Uh, I done started more sh than Soldier Boy. You know, Soldier Boy started everything in the world. Uh, I'm effing up more names than Drunk Smack. Lou Castro in his second round, he really, really jumps in his bag. Like, his bag was, he was definitely there. He was in his Birkin in the second round. The first round, I just felt like, you know what I'm saying, Mike P had way too much. Uh, second round, Mike P comes out, I ain't gonna be a notch on Louis Bell. I thought that that was dope. Uh, he, he then continued with, uh, he said, uh, what'd he say, what'd he say? Uh, he had a Sarah McLaughlin line all through his second round. It was pretty cool, but to me, I had it 1-1 going into the third. You know what I'm saying? I'll keep it short so we ain't got to go to court. Michael, Mike P, second round was dope. He had some shit in there, but Lou Castro definitely started to step his shit up. Um, Lou Castro's third round, uh, lean Mike R&B feature. I felt like Lou Castro's third was like when he really started to get wild brolic on him. Uh, get your life stole from a 38 special like a dot scheme. My mom ass whooping, my dad ass whooping. It hit different, stabby stab, spike on the side. We at the garden, spike on the side. We at the garden, I thought that that was crazy. Uh, my mom's watching the battle, I thought this was dope because you know anybody who gets into these situations to where they could do something big like this. My mom's watching the battle, say hi, say hi. I thought that that was dope. Uh, Right hook and get a black eyed P. Hey mama, I thought that, that was dope. Uh, you ain't gonna have the best, no, he said, you're gonna have the best not on smack like A Ward. I thought that that shit was crazy because we all know A Ward's the, not, the best not on smack. Mike P's third round, you still in line for shots. Uh, shake well before you use, like you who, two sticks, wave, tell Castro to meet the maestro. Third round was definitely fire. Overall, the battle is going to be pretty debatable. I got Lou Castro 2-1 edge. Mike P gets the first round. I seen the um, the poll. They had a poll up. Um, I did take a screenshot of it right quick. You know what I'm saying? Like right quick like Mike Vick. Uh, it had um, Mike P with four, like 47. Lou Castro with like 48 or 49 percent of the vote. It's mad. It's wild debatable. Let's just let's just keep it there. It's wild debatable. Both of them had a good battle, but for me, Lou Castro's first time on that real big stage. His second and third round was crazy. His first, he had some shit in there, but we needed like he needed to really get crazy in his second and third. And I felt like, and I feel like he did get crazy in his second and third. That was the Lou that we was expecting. The third round was 
definitely the loot that we was expecting. Um, I'm pretty sure that, you know, this one's mad people's gonna break it down, mad people gonna have their way that they felt about it, but that's just my personal take from what I saw, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, Lou Castro did his thing. Mike P did his thing too. Uh, it, it definitely met known criteria, because I know a lot of people's questioning, was it even gonna be a known type battle, but that definitely met the criteria, and boys did they think, you know what I'm saying? I really can't knock either or. If you got either side winning, that's your personal preference. But for me, I got the big Lou, and it's not because I'm from the Bronx, you know what I'm saying? If I had Mike P winning, I would've gave it to him. But from the material that I saw, you know what I'm saying? I wanna see it again. But salute to my guy Showtime SP, you already know what it is.